Hi, sir. Sir, nakausap niyan si Presidente regarding the U.S. invitation. The invitation to visit U.S. po. Nakausap niya na po si yeah, And your question is what? Kung Will he accept tatangka, or not? Yes, this was his response. He said, the, the first invitation, in fact, dalawa na yata, di ba? Dalawang personal invitation. And then, there was this uproar about the five senators introducing provisions in the budget <clears throat> in relation to Ms. Delima. <clears throat> he said, one, he has to ponder over it. Why? Because he doesn't want to go there, and if he's already there, some U.S. senators would be unhappy seeing him there because he's supposed to be number one on the list. Number two, sabi niya, I do not even know if U.S. will issue me a visa. And if I'm issued a visa, I do not know if when I arrive in the States, I would be allowed entry. Okay, sabi niya. So, sir, do you think yung cancellation... Yung yung nasagot niya. So, sir... Gusto niya po. Ano? So, he's open po to visit the U.S. Hindi nga, sinasabi niya nga na kung mga tinapon niya sa inyo, yan ang aking position. So, nag-worry siya. Amen, hindi niya ako mapasukin eh. So, sir, nag-worry po siya for his safety. Yan po ba yun? Hindi nag-worry po. Hindi nag-worry for his safety. Kasi hindi niya alam baka kung yan ang position ng mga senador, Sinasabi na lang yan ang batas nyo. Eh baka hindi nyo ako papasukin niya. Ba't pa ako pupunta ron? Parang gano'n ang so, point yung... niya. So in other words, the ball has been thrown to them. Then they have to do something about it. Kung since uh, the president has already made his position on the matter, kung sinabi na, ano, hindi hmm, pwede yan. O, eh, ibang usapan na yan. Thank you, sir. Okay, follow up muna, Francis. Francis. And then... Yes, sir. Bali, kasi ang invitation came from President Donald Trump himself, di ba? Yeah, the invitation so, is to the ASEAN leaders for a U.S. ASEAN special summit. Sa lahat ng mga leaders. Yeah, pero kasama naman po si President. Yung dalawang previous invitation, personal invitation niya ni President Trump. While this one is an official invitation to all ASEAN leaders. Sir, what if kung lahat ng ASEAN leaders nagpunta doon, tapos si Presidente lang di pumunta, hindi ba parang pangit naman sa imahe ng, ng Pilipinas kung hindi siya pupunta? Hindi. <laughs> that is assuming na hindi siya pupunta. Hindi ba sinabi niya na nga ang posisyon niya? Kung baka tinapon niya sa Amerikano yung nasa isip niya, una, ayoko maging unhappy yung mga senador niyo. Pangalawa, hindi ko nga alam kung papapasukin niya ako, hindi eh. Kasi meron kayo sinasabi niyong batas. Okay. Uh, Ace? Pero hindi ba parang change of stance or tone to? Kasi previously... Change of what? Change of stance or tone. Kasi previously the president will say, no, hindi ako pupuntain ngayon. Nagpapander na po siya. Kasi nga personal yung imbitasyon sa kanya ni Trump. Personal lang eh. E ito iba eh. It's an official invitation to all ASEAN leaders and there is a special summit. And Although we, last time, hindi rin naman siya nag-qualify ng ganyan. Dati, talaga hindi, hindi ko... Kaya na sinasabi. Sinasabi, mm. sinasabi mm. niya na nga yun. Dati, ano yun, mga personal invitation lang. This one is, ibang invitation to. But ang problema nga, eh, because of that, I don't want to see these senators seeing me and being unhappy, me being there. And at the same time, don't even know if they will allow me or not. One, will they give me a visa? Number two, kasi wala siyang visa so, okay. So, given the word ponder, is it safe? Pondering. Words, Pondering, yes. So, is it safe to say that he is not closing his doors to visiting the U.S.? Depending on, kasi, in other words, he's throwing the ball to them. Anong, anong tingnan ko, anong reaction nyo? O, pag sinabi na, no, you are, we're giving you a visa, we'll allow you entry, including all your delegations. O, eh, di, 
pag bumalik sa kanya, then I will ask him, oh, oh, Mr. President, ano na tayo? So, yun na yun. Okay. Salamat, okay. Sek. Atina, Salerina, and then Julie. So, sir, if the conditions are met na nabigyan siya ng visa and... Wala naman siyang impose na condition, ah. He just expressed certain sentiments relative to some issues that may affect his entry. Also, sir, based on your explanation, so yung interest of the ASEAN and the role of the Philippines can prevails upon the president's personal uh, views against the U.S. No. From what I look at his responses, gusto niya pumunta. Yan ang, yan ang nasa isip ko. But, paano ko pupunta? <laughs> Kung yan naman ang sinasabi niyong condition sa Amerika. Hindi, hindi natin alam. Oh, kakapasok ako doon. Wala pa nga akong visa. O, oh, di ba? So, we, words, want, we want uh, our he, president he, wants an assurance. Words, strong, exactly nga. Pinapabayaan niya namin mag-US government. Di mag-decide kayo. Ano, you're still inviting me or not? So, an assurance from the U.S. government. Because on a personal he, level, he doesn't want to go there for for the reasons he has already stated. One, he can stand the weather, the temperature. But it's a long trip. It's a long haul. Okay. Salerina and then Julie. Sundutin ko lang yung sinabi ni Tina. So, the President wants a categorical assurance from the U.S. No, he didn't say that. Basta yun, yun, ang, yun ang usapan namin at kinukote ko siya exactly yung nasalita niya. So, ano dapat yung signal na gagawin ng U.S.? I, I don't know. <laughs> Then let the U.S. receive whatever signals it wants to receive from the statements of the President. So if the president won't push through with the trip, it means that the U.S. did not give any good signal to the president. I don't know. <laughs> Magdagi speculate na lang tayo. Basta, yan na ang posisyon ni Presidente. Okay, uh, Julie. Sir, sundot ulit. <laughs> ano na? Sundot ulit, sir. Ano na? <laughs> sir, so, you're, so what, are, what we are saying is that the president might consider accepting the invitation if the U.S. in good faith gives him a visa and allow, allows him entry. Hindi ko alam. Sorry. I don't know. We have to, we have to respond, or rather, we have to wait for the response of the U.S. Do sa mga sinabi ni Presidente, I'm sure makakarating naman yun. Ngayon, eh, sinasabi ko na, di ba? Minomonitor naman tayo ng lahat ng embassy. Mm -mm. O, di siyempre, si Bin, ah, ganito. Pero sir, di ba, since it's an official invitation for uh, the U ASEAN U.S. Summit, na ini-invite siya, di ba automatic naman na, oh, bibigyan ka ng visa, i-allow ka entry, di ba, ano yun, head of state siya eh. Ka na Normally, yes. Siya. But, But this, these are not normal times with respect to this case mm -hmm. of Miss Dilima kasi ipinasok nga siya dun eh. Di ba? Kaya Pero, hindi normal ang sitwasyon. Mm -hmm. But did you also say na yung ang the rider on Dilima, on, regarding Dilima, yung sa US budget, di ba sabi niyo before na it's It's upon the prerogative of the executive, which President Trump controls. Exactly. Kung prerogative ng executive, hindi mo alam kung anong gagawin ng executive. Wala pa naman silang, first, wala silang listahan. So, hindi mo alam kung they will. Okay. Wala. Malabo pa nga lahat eh. It's all, even Dilima herself is saying, oh, if they're allowed there, kasi hindi pa naman nag-ooperate yung batas. Can we say, sir, that President Duterte is worried about that rider? President... The president is never worried about anything except the sufferance of the Filipino people okay, and the interest. <laughs> oh, la last question. Follow up, Yan. Oh, last two on U.S. ASEAN. Arian and then Joseph. So, sir, um, kailangan, sir, ma-persuade si President Duterte. Hindi. Antay natin kung ano yung response ng Amerikano doon sa mga sinabi niya. Did you communicate to the U.S. Hindi yung mga sentiments As I niya said, formally? All embassies I discovered coming from them, they're all monitoring pala all these press conferences. Okay, sir. May, meron... So alam na nila kung ano yung position kasi sinabi ko na ngayon. Okay, sir. Meron kasi he's supposed yung... to say that during the tet a tet <laughs> and overrun, eh, the... I am compelled to share it to you. Pero sir, given na may mga uh, na-cancel yung visa, for example, ni U.S. Senator Bato. Pero hindi natin alam kung ang in relation to what yun eh. Ayun nga sir. Tutuloy pa rin po ba si PRD if ever? 
Ay, hindi ko alam. <laughs> mag speculate tayo. Hindi po yun, tayo. ano, kinoconsider. Hindi yun factor. Let's just wait for the response okay, so of the U.S. Okay. government. Last on U.S. ASEAN, Joseph. Sir, categorical question. Does he or does he would he not want to go to the U.S.? I do not know. Okay. Other issue. Why? Pero, sige, I don't... <laughs> Joseph? I do not know yung sagot natin, sir. You Pero sabi nyo kanina, okay, para you gusto ask me niya. personally, I do no, not no, know. No, because you talk to him. Oh, eh, but you, uh, you know, sabi niya eh. Hindi ko mabasa kung anong ibig siya. But you said earlier na parang feeling niya gusto niya pumunta. It's one, uh, the one, one p.m. mark. <laughs> yeah, clarify lang, sir. Parang ano ba Yung mga nanunod, ang daming komentaryo sa inyo. <laughs> like the president, we do not <laughs> accept, sir. Sir, hindi. Does he or does he would not yeah, want I to go? Hindi, hindi. Basta yun ang kanyang sagot. Okay. Okay. Last, <laughs> US, uh, other, uh, follow up muna, um, Vance Fernandez. Pabot ang microphone. Sir, in short, takot po ba ang presidente pumasok sa teritoryo ng US? Hindi nga natatakot tong mamang ito. Well, di ba sabi ko siya, walang kinakatakutan ito. Okay, thank you. Okay, Takot so, uh, lang siya pag naghihirap ang taong bayan. Gagawa niya ng paraan yun. Sir, will it make a difference kung official visit ang pagpunta, pag-imbita sa Pangulo? <coughs> Hindi ko alam. Basta sinabi niya na yung posisyon niya. You can draw your conclusions kung ano man ang you have in your minds. Okay, Salarina, so other issue. Salarina, may mustache pa. Okay, Joseph, may question. <coughs> Sir, may US visa pa? Meron. Na-check niyo po last kung if it's still valid. Wala na. Ba't ko i-check? Hindi naman ako nagbabiyahe. Okay. Well, of course, the context is si Senator De La Rosa has confirmed that his visa has been cancelled by the US Embassy. Uh, Your comment, please. My comment, well, Palace. it's the prerogative and right of any state to disallow or to allow any citizen of any country. Mm. I don't know what reason it was canceled. Mm -hmm. Did the U.S. state any reason for the cancellation? Indeed, sir. But, the but I understand according to Senator De La Rosa, the uh, embassy told him if he wants to go renew, he can reapply. So you don't think it has anything to do with the Magnitsky Act? And I have no idea. So we're okay lang if na cancel yung visa ng... Okay, pwede naman pala siya mag-reapply. So non-issue non, non, non <clears throat> huh? non siya? Non-issue parang gano'n? Sa akin, non-issue. Okay, yun muna, sir. Okay. okay. Sige. May follow-up doon? Other issue, Chana. 